to the corner. Yeah. Hello everyone, welcome to the corner. Got a few things going on as you can see. The uh, Corvette is painted. Sitting on all fours. However, I still need to find some wheels for it. Got to find a windshield for it. Get a windscreen on it of some sort. And it needs taillights and a grill and of course a little bit of something else to make it go. <laughs> not sure if I'm going to put an engine in it yet. Or I'll just leave it as a curbside. I'm not sure yet. but It's making way, making progress. I got to find a few things for it yet. But uh, put the this piece I think is off of Jaguar XJ220, I believe. I think that's what it came out of. It's been in my parts box for years. But I decided to throw that underneath there just to give a little bit of a race look to the back end of it. Being I was changing the hood and everything on it, whatever else. But but that's it so far on that. Not sure how quick I'll get this one done or not, but just kind of a fun little project I've been tinkering around with in between everything. Um, as you can see in the background, got a Kenworth sitting there that is now finished. I'm gonna move this project out of the way. This is another project I started working on. I'll maybe touch bases on that here in a minute. I'm gonna pull all this back a little bit, see if I can get this thing fit in here. But that's the KW. I uh, wrapped this up yet last night. Still got to put corner lamps on it yet, I guess. I, I see as I see now, but all in all, it's a pretty quick, easy, fun build to do. I went kind of just more or less right out of the box. It's got the kit fuel tanks on it. Of course, in the kit, they're not plated underneath because they hang underneath the the ramp body on the ramp truck. So I ended up just painting them orange and putting them on there. Figure it looks all right just the way it is. So added some decals on it just to give it a little company look to it. A little bit of a you know just to make it look like it's a road truck, whatever, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> added the Kenworth decals to the front. Uh, the stripes on it, I'm not sure what they came out of. They, I think they're off like the moving on truck. Just extra pieces of decals that I had hanging around. Uh, engine is all done. I went with a little different look on this one. Instead of having hanging the air cleaner here, I hung the air cleaners up here. And as a result, changed the overall look at the back end of it. I saw this on a real truck sitting down close to where my storage unit is. And thought, oh, it looks kind of cool. I'm going to go something different and do a little something different on it. I got a little different twist to it. But I hung two chrome air cleaners. I'm not sure what truck they came off of, but I hung them up there and used my uh, black shrink tubing to get all the duct work and tubing for it. I also ended up cutting off the top of the stacks and went with just a evergreen tubing for the, the stacks on it. That way they're, they look all a little bit better instead of having a split on them. Um... Backside, I added, added the uh, the mud flap brackets. I'm not sure what truck these came off of. Then I added my little pieces of uh, thin plastic for the mud flaps. I'm haven't decided if I'm gonna leave them all white or I might put a Kenworth logo on them. Drop a Kenworth logo right down on the bottom bottom center of them. I haven't decided yet how I'm gonna do them yet. Chrome fifth wheel on it. But all in all, I just kind of wrapped this one up and threw it together, more or less. Painted it orange because that's my daughter's favorite color. <laughs> She's a big fan of orange, so. And like this one, I went with the Aerodyne cab versus my other truck. I went with a flat top KW cab off like the Coors and the Budweiser trucks of yesteryear. But all in all, that's that. And as you guys, you've probably seen this little project sitting over here. This is a project that I've been wanting to start for a while. As you can tell, it's orange. 
This is going to be built pretty much right out of the box. However, I'm going to use the Race Master Slicks. And then I got a set of Halibrands I'm going to throw on the front runners. I'm going to throw these inside the front tires and build this pretty much right out of the box. I'll have the 427 camera in it. The only thing I'm going to change on it is the tires and wheels, and the windows are going to be done using a clear acetate orange. This isn't the best sheet I have, but it's the only sheet I have, so I'm going to try to clean it up and make it work. But in the process of that, I had a friend of mine make these decals up a while back. I'll just pull them out of the bag, make it a little easier. This is going to be built kind of for my daughter. It's going to have the black lily scoop decals on the doors. Just figured that'd be kind of a little fun, little something for her. Being her favorite color is orange, it's kind of fitting, so. <laughs> Paint the engine block black, do the transmission silver, and then put some orange windows in it. It'll be a lot of orange when it's done, but I think it'll look pretty cool. Look kind of neat for her, so. But yeah. All in all, that's that. Um, and I think the next truck, being that this my Kenworth, this Kenworth is done now. I'm going to pull the Ford out, the truck that I started to build for the Bigfoot race hauler. I'm going to be pulling that one out next. I found or came across the blue paint that I had for it, so I'm going to probably end up pulling that out next and get started on that one. This is going to be the chassis for it. A little warp. But maybe we can straighten it out a little bit. Or the weight of tires and wheels on it and the engine and everything on it it'll, it'll bring itself down I guess. These chassis have a good amount of twist to them in them naturally anyway so by the time I get it all weighted down it'll settle out. But uh, chassis I think is going to be done in silver. The cab hood bunkhouse I'm going to put on is going to be done in a blue that I've got picked out for it. Uh, Coors Race Trailer will be going on it. That'll have a, I think it might do like a blue with a white white upper, you know, midsection on it with a little bit of a kick up on the back end of it. Split the colors up a little bit. Try to find some custom decals of Bigfoot and whatever else to put on there maybe. Um, Tim I forget his channel's name now. <laughs> but uh, Tim, he's got, he put up a video here a while back about a um, aftermarket decal mass, decal maker that does aftermarket decals. I could possibly get in touch with them to have them maybe do the decals for it or just kind of use what I got kind of thing or something. We'll figure it out. But anyway, this will be the next build that I think I'm going to start as far as a 18 wheeler wise and this will be the next project that I start hot rod wise. Put them together, have a little fun. <laughs> Anywho, hope you all have a good weekend this weekend. I'm gonna try wrapping this video up here soon. Get it out tomorrow. And yeah, everybody have a good weekend. We'll see y'all in the corner. Like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Leave a comment. Just tell me what you're thinking. What's going on? Have a good one, everybody. We'll see you in the corner. Bye bye.